Hello, I'm Axuba Judge, and I'm so blessed. Listen, I I count this a rare privilege to sit down here and be bringing God's truth to you. You know why? I'm not sharing from what I read or studied. I'm sharing my heart based on what the Spirit of God have deposited in me. And even as I share, He is the one giving the utterance. So I'm under the influence of God's Spirit right now to bring a blessing to you. Praise God. So I'm enjoying this. And it's happening because of you. Take advantage of this period. Praise God. Take advantage of this time and this broadcast and get blessed. Open your heart and just receive everything that God is giving to you right now because this is for your sake. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Father, we just bless you today. Thank you for your great blessing an expression of love in giving your word. I declare burdens are being lifted right now from everyone watching. And yokes are being destroyed in their lives. The yoke that holds you bound to mammon is being destroyed right now. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Now we're talking about God's financial plan. Now listen. Hmm. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Yesterday I spoke to you about serving mammon. Jesus said you cannot serve God and mammon. You either despise God and love and, and, be, and be loyal to mammon or you love God and hate mammon. You, you can't love both. I, I love God though. I also like money. No. But that also doesn't mean money is not good for you. I get what I'm saying. That doesn't mean good things of life is not for you. Peter tells us he has given us all things that pertain to life and godliness. Meaning the things God gives to you will never take you away from him. You see? Because he, everything that pertains to life, the good life, and it, it spurs you into godliness. Now, I've been so blessed by God many, many, many times. The truth is, everything around me, everything I have, everything you see me use, I can tell you the testimony behind it. See? I can tell you. Now, so when I see these things, they all represent life to me. See? That's how it works. Why? Because many years ago, the word of the Lord, this, this, what I'm sharing with you came to me many years ago. And I made up my mind from that day, I will never serve mama. Never. Never. It's not a religious thinking. I don't want to go to hell, so I will not serve mama. No, I, I saw the goodness of God. I saw the mighty hand of God. I saw God do great things. And I still see it. So why? It's degrading to turn my attention to serving mama. I can't. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So watch this now. He says, he says, seek ye the kingdom of God. Seek first. First. You get into a new job. What do you think first? Lord, what would you have me do in this place? Why am I here at this time? You take out time to fast and pray. You say, oh, I'm to start work next week. Okay, Lord, before I go, if I resume work at that place, I want to know what's your mind for me here? What are you doing? You are seeking to know the kingdom of God. See, because you are a representative of the kingdom. And anywhere you go, you have one mission, to bring God's thoughts to bear in that place. See, just like the ambassador, the U.S. ambassador to Nigeria, he only has one purpose in our nation. He's not here to look at us and say, oh, you guys are great. You guys are doing well. His plan, his, his mission here is to ensure that the interest of his nation is protected here. 
So if Nigeria is going to do anything that is going to affect the economy of the U.S., he, he will come to lobby. He will say, no, Mr. President, don't you, don't you think, uh, uh, if you're not yielding, he will, uh, look, they, they are planning to do this, and I don't think it's going to favor us. What do we do? And someone say, oh, let's mount pressure on them. Okay, so how do we do that? Oh, you know, and then they begin to do all sort of things. His job here is to see to it that the interest of his nation is protected. Now, that's the same job you have on the earth. Everywhere you go, if you get into a new job, heaven is looking at you. Go there and, and protect the interests of the kingdom of God. That's what you're supposed to do in that place. So you don't go there and say, hmm, yeah, I'm a Christian, no, but not that type. Oh. Not, not, those, not, not that type. And then we are going, yeah, in, this, in this office, every Friday we go partying, we go clubbing. Ah, why, why don't you come? No, you, yeah, you're born again. Uh, uh, I, I'm not that type. Oh. I'm not that type. And I said, no, me, I can go, I can go. And then you join them. And then you begin to lose yourself. And you lose your job from heaven as an ambassador. Why? Because you think, let me mingle though. If not, I'll be missing certain things. Now, now you think about it. You see, <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is amazing. You think about it. What, 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 what are you going to lose? See, now that is how the service of mammon starts. Someone tells you, look, if you don't join in all these things, uh, there are certain benefits that come with them or that you won't even know. So you'll be losing them. They say, ah, I don't want to lose any benefit too. So they say they are going to so and so place. Ah, are we go? Are we go? Come on now. Every benefit that they think they get from that, you know how to respond to such things. When you say, ah, you better, you better join them. I know you're a Christian, you know, but you see, once in a while, they won't tell you come out fully. They will tell you once in a while. It's important you join because there are certain benefits oh, that, that come with all these things. And if you don't go, you will not get those benefits. And then you begin to think, ah, I, can, I cannot survive on my salary alone. So ah, I better go. And they tell you, ah, sometimes you know, we'll go to that, we'll meet so and so person and they share this amount of money. So, really? Just like that? Yeah, just like that. Say, ha, ah, we go. You see? All those benefits that they talk about, your heavenly father has much more to give to you. So how are you supposed to respond to such an invitation? You say, hey, oh, really? So what do they give? It's too small. What do you mean it's too small? It's too small. <laughs> Bros, you just came here. How much is your salary? Eh, I don't live by my salary. I, I'm here to do business. What kind of business? I'm here to do business for God. So all those benefits. So that's why people go for it. They say, yeah. Uh, at the end of the day, I'll get far better than that. That's how you respond. You don't respond like a religious person. You say, I'm not going to. You say, I'll go and go for a party and I'll go to hell. That's not how you talk. You say, see those benefits? I don't seek them. You know why I don't seek them? I have them. I have them. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. And when you talk like that, well, what do you mean you have them? Because my father has given them to me. Uh, you don't even have a car. You say, car? Wait. I've ordered for my car. It's coming. <laughs> <laughs> you just started walking, so you've ordered for car. Watch. <laughs> Watch. And you may see them doing like they are prospering. You may see them doing like, yeah. You, that's why it's a first of all. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you what Jesus said. Seek ye first. 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 You don't just walk into that place and then you're not trying to be a Christian in that place. You will lose it. You will lose it. Before you get in, you step aside and say, Lord, what's your purpose? Why am I going there? 
I want to know what your plan is. What, what interest of heaven do you want me to protect in that place? Holy Spirit, open my eyes. And you begin to pray and pray for the organization. Pray for the staff members. Pray for the management. Pray for everyone in that place. And take charge of that place. Say, Lord, I'm going there to represent you. Thank you because you will grant me the wisdom I need. And I receive supplies. Always at this part. And I receive supplies from heaven. Thank you, Lord. To keep me focused. Amen. And then you get in there. And then they begin to talk their thing. Yeah, no, no, no. You don't do that. I said, this thing you're trying to get done like this. God has it in stock and he wants to give it to you. And then you begin to shine the light. And that while they are doing all their stuff, suddenly someone walks into that place. I say, oh, I'm looking for Mr. James. Which Mr. James? Oh, the one that just started working like two months ago. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is his office. And he comes and says, ah, Mr. James, I was praying last night and God said, I should come and give you this car. Here's the key. I say, really? <laughs> yeah. And then you call them together. I say, hey, guys, come. You want to see a miracle? Say, yeah, I want to see a miracle. Look at it. I said, what? Please, show us the way. What business did you do? You introduced them to the kingdom. Oh, what I'm... Listen, you, you think I'm just talking fairy tales, right? <laughs> I'm telling you testimonies that God's children are enjoying. And I'm telling you how you two can come into this testimony. Jesus said it. He said, all these things shall be added unto you. Who said it? Jesus. And guess what? He is alive today as our high priest watching over his word because what he said was true. So he is there. If he had lied to us, we would know. <laughs> Praise God. But I'm telling you how, how you relate with him. And that's why you say, Father, I thank you. I go there first thing. That's what you do. First, I go there as your ambassador, Lord. Thank you. Because I'm going to release your blessing. Even as heaven supplies everything I need to be a good ambassador in that place. So God will see to it that you are never broke. God will see to it that you are never... You, you know, you, they will wonder at you. Come. Are you sure you don't have another job that you're doing somewhere? So of course I do. Hey, we're saying it. But wait, till you close here at this time. The other day, all the times, I used to drop you in your house. So is it that you get home and then you now go to the other job? Say, no, 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 no. See, the work I do, you don't know. <laughs> Just like Jesus told them. <laughs> Say, you don't know the work that I have to do. <laughs> like he says, I, 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 Jesus, you know, the disciples came and said, huh? He said, my meat is to do the will of him that sends me and to finish his work. His meat. Is that somebody brought food to him? He said, no, you say you have another job. Say, yeah, I do. Oh, really? Where? He said, you don't know it. Tell us now. Tell us. Show us the way now. I walk from heaven. <laughs> you confuse them the more. It's... Yeah, because heaven pays. When you represent the Lord, now I'm not talking about religion. See, you know, we, we've heard these things before, but we heard it from the perspective of religion. You understand what I'm saying? Now, you're in the office. See, he's not sending you to go from office to office. Hmm. Brothers and sisters, now that I'm in this office, go to the man and say, Sir, I, I, I noticed since I came to this office that they don't do morning devotion. So please, I want us to introduce morning devotion. In, you know, because I'm a Christian and I believe that God has sent me in this place. You know, and I believe that as we begin to have morning devotion, things will begin to change in that office. Now, if God did not command you to do that, you are just doing religion and you may be kicked out. And it's not persecution. It was foolishness. Except it is the Lord that commanded you to do it. And you will know. Now, if the Lord commanded you to do this, not because he wants everybody to be coming out to pray in the morning so that he will bless them. No, it is because there is something that he wants to deal with in that place. And only that is the solution to dealing with that thing. And usually, when he sends you like that, he will cause you to find favor in whoever you're talking with. So you just go with boldness to the man, I, I'm thinking he'll look at you and say, oh, 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 thank you. I knew we were supposed to do something like this. 
but I couldn't summon the courage. Now that you are bringing it, it's a confirmation to me that truly this is what God is saying we should do. How do we go about it? That's what you will see. And then you start, and in no time, everybody will be saying, man, truly, you, thank God. Man, since we started this morning devotion, ah, it seems things are just turning out right. Yeah. But beyond that, you are sitting in your office. Someone comes to work sad and, and looking depressed. Oh, what, what's going on? Hi, man. Uh, my wife, my husband. So, really? Why? You begin to minister the word to them. And they lighten up. So when they lighten up, they will do their job perfectly. They will do their job well. There will be production. More, they, they will be more productive that day. And you've restored someone's soul to health. Someone comes in sick. What are you doing there? Lay hands on the sick and they recover. What are you doing? I'm enforcing God's kingdom. Because where I dwell, nobody, nobody stays sick here. If there's a problem, you ask God to Father, how do we fix this situation? And he gives you wisdom. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, my time is up. <laughs> oh, we bless you, Father. Open up the gate of this weekend to us, Lord. And bring blessing to everyone that is watching. That will turn their hearts away from mammon to you, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I'll see you on Monday. Bye-bye.